Good morning children. Today we will start a new topic that is light. The topics that we will be covering in this video are First, we will learn what is light and how is it helpful to us. We will talk about various sources by which we get light. Then we will learn about point sources and extended sources of light. Then we have a luminous and non-luminous body. At the end we will understand some important terms. So let's get started children. Children, if you enter a dark room, you will not be able to see any object around you. But if you switch on the source of light, you will be able to see the objects around you, such as a television, a book, study table, a bag, wooden table, a sofa, etc. We see all these objects when light after striking it reaches our eyes. Light helps us to see. So, we can define light as a form of energy that produces the sensation of sight in us. There are various objects that gives us light and these are known as sources of light. We have two types of sources of light. Some sources are called natural sources of light and some are known as the artificial sources of light. The sources of light that occur in nature are called natural sources of light. We have some examples here like sun, firefly, etc. Then we have artificial sources of light. These are made by humans. Some examples are bulbs, electric tube lights, a kerosene lamp, torch. Some sources of light are small in size, but some are bigger. The sources of light that have negligible dimension are called point sources of light. Now, while drawing a point source of light, we use a dot to represent it. Example, a distant star seen through a small telescope. That's an example. But a source of light that is made up of large number of point sources of light is called an extended source of light. We have some examples as a torch, bulb, burning candle. Do you know children? It is very easy to make a point source of light. We can make our own point so source of light also. How? Let's search and find out a way by which we all can make a point source of light. Children, now we will learn about luminous and non-luminous objects. The objects that gives out its own light is called a luminous object. Such as a bulb, sun, but the objects that does not give its own light are called non-luminous objects such as table, chair, 
animals. Okay, children. Let's test our knowledge with this question. Children, here are the four sources of light given to us. These sources are moon, light bulb, sun and a lit candle. Children, can you identify which one is not an example of luminous object? I hope you will find the answer to this question. The last topic for today is transparent, translucent and opaque object. Children, an object that allows the light to pass through it completely is called a transparent object. Example, clean air, clean water. Whereas, an object that allows only a part of light to pass through it is called a translucent object. Such as, a ground glass, butter paper. An object that does not allow light to pass through it at all is known as an opaque object. The examples are wood, stone, metal. You can all see there is a picture of giraffe. It can be clearly seen through a transparent object, partially through a translucent object and it is not at all visible through an opaque object. A teacher asked Akhil to help her to categorize some objects as transparent, translucent and opaque objects. These objects were water, clear glass, tracing paper, eraser, brick wall, magnifying glass and a black card. Children, can you help Akhil to categorize these objects? I hope children, you will find the answers to the question asked in between the topic. With this, we come to the end of our first video class of chapter light. Thank you children and take care.